Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Today we are living in a digital world and we are now used to having an app for giving us an answer to any problem. This is also the case in directional drilling. The directional driller today relies on his computer, which shows him the actual well path and the position of the drill bit in the ground. Normally we believe what is indicated on the screen and that all the nice numbers and graphs are correct. However, we need to consider that there, are, that there are always errors involved. First of all, we need to perform measurements. The measurements are made in certain distances along the drilled borehole. The measurements include inclination of the borehole and the azimuth, which is the direction of the borehole. Of course, these measurements are not perfect, but we always show some error. And since they are not perfect measurements, they will have some degree of accuracy and some degree of error. We have to live with that. These measurements, which are not error-free, are now typed into the computer. And the computer now uses these values to calculate the course of the well path. Here we face the next problem. We only measure the inclination and the direction of the borehole at certain points. I have two measuring points here, a blue one and a yellow one. The arrow shows us the inclination and the direction at each point. The rope between the two points represents the distance drilled between the two measuring points. Now you can see the problem. We do not know the well path between the two surveys, whether it is straight or circular or random or curved. But depending on the assumption we take for the well path, the lower yellow ball will always end up in different positions relative to the blue ball, indicating a different vertical depth for a well. This same problem applies to the computer. The computer does not know how the well path looks between two measuring points. It has to rely on an assumption the programmer of the software gives to it. In fact, there are several theoretical models that are commonly used in those software packages. The programmer simply decides which it likes best, this model or that model, and uses it. Depending on the theory used in the program, slightly different borehole trajectories can be calculated from the same measurements. As you can see behind me, the well parts are shown in different colors. Now you might think this is pretty relevant to it for a single borehole. Who cares if we have a few meters higher or lower or left or right? But there are many fixed offshore platforms in the world which already have drilled dozens of wells in different directions. If we now want to drill a new well in this cluster, we have to take care so that we do not accidentally hit an existing producing well. So you see, it is quite a challenging task to navigate through such a cluster. And we can compare it to that of a professional pilot who when flying needs to avoid collision with other aircraft. So that is the problem. The problem of navigation in directional drilling can be pretty complex. And so we try to explain more about this here in our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1. If you're interested, feel free to join us. We look forward to seeing you here in Frame. Glug off.